and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison Clark and I'm a senior portrait and wedding photographer based out of Southern New Hampshire. And I'm also an educator for those who are just starting their own photography businesses and want to learn a little bit more. I'm so happy you are here to join me this week because I'm talking about something super exciting that I've gotten a couple of questions about lately and that is my senior closet or my client closet, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, so basically this is a client closet that I started um, last summer. It's a dream that I've always had and I finally kind of jumped in and started to offer it within my senior packages. Um, it's basically just a client closet full, I feel like it's self-explanatory, but it's a client closet full of clothes that I have purchased um, that I believe would photograph really well and that would be super flattering for portraits. Um, and it's super helpful for girls that I photograph who um, maybe receive their style guide and think like, I don't have anything in my closet closet that kind of fits with your tips. So now I have a closet that I can direct them to um, and they can come and try things on and choose a couple different outfits from the closet that they feel kind of suits their vibe and that fits them well. Um, so it's super exciting. I've photographed a ton of seniors from my closet, um, a ton of seniors who have worn things from my closet already um, and it's been super fun. So it's definitely something that if you're a senior photographer, you should look into if you are hoping to boost your client experience and stand out in your area. But today I wanted to give you guys three tips for starting your own client closet on a budget and I will disclaim right now that I did not spend more than $25 on a single piece of clothing in this closet. I got it all um, for less than $25. Well, not, I didn't get all the clothes for less than $25. Each article of clothing was less than $25. Um, so you definitely can make a client closet on a budget and I wanted to give you guys three tips for doing that um, so that you can boost your own business and client experience. So my first tip is kind of like a pre-step um, to starting your client closet, and that is to do some market research. So you have a bunch of seniors probably following you on Instagram or just your clients following you on Instagram um, if we're going to go broader, and you should definitely utilize them when you're doing research into what clothes you should add in your client closet. Um, you want to be adding clothes in your client closet that people are actually going to want to wear and that is going to be kind of like a selling point for them to book you because you have this beautiful dress that they want to wear for their senior session or their maternity session. Um, so definitely do some market research. Basically what I did is if as I was shopping, I saw a dress that I really liked that I thought would photograph well, I would take a screenshot, post it on my Instagram story and do a couple sets of polls so that people could vote for if that's something that they wanted to wear or maybe didn't want to wear. Um, so I was able to fill my closet with things that girls genuinely wanted to wear um, and that would help me stand out in my area as a senior photographer that had this beautiful client closet full of clothes and pretty dresses that girls actually wanted to wear. Um, so definitely reach out to your audience, see what they're looking for, see what their vibe is before purchasing anything just to ensure that you're getting things that they would actually want to wear. My second tip would be to get things in a variety of sizes. So I have everything from extra small to extra large that would fit super petite girls to curvy girls um, so that nobody who comes into my office for a senior closet appointment tries things on and can't find anything that fits them. Um, I also buy things not only in a variety of sizes, but things that are flowy and things that are stretchy that could fit anywhere from a small to a large. Um, I have a couple of dresses with tie waists that would fit a variety of sizes. I have dresses with flowy sleeves or um, a flowy bottom like a peplum. So those would fit a variety of sizes. So definitely when you're shopping around, think about that and the variety of girls and their sizes that you might be catering to um, and just keep them in mind while you're shopping for girls clothes. My third and final tip for shopping for your client closet on a budget is to thrift. And I know that thrifting is like kind of popular right now, but also kind of taboo. Um, but you can find some amazing things at Savers and Goodwill. Um, I have gotten a ton of things thrifted that were just like, I have a really cute free people dress. I go to Marshalls, TJs, all kinds of stuff um, that was super inexpensive um, because I was shopping either used clothes or old season clothes or overstock. Um, so you can definitely get a lot of really cute pieces in thrift stores or just discounted stores like that. Um, I also shopped a lot on the apps Poshmark and Curtsy um, and I found a, a couple really cute free people dresses that I ended up getting for super cheap because they were worn a couple times and I was able to negotiate with them on the price. So I have a handful of free people dresses that I got for $25 or under, which is super exciting. Um, so definitely don't 
cancel out um, shopping on a budget like that. Thrifting is a super good option, um, especially if you're trying to build up a wardrobe quickly and you only have a set amount of money to spend on a lot of clothes. Um, so definitely check those stores out as well and those apps. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to take a peek into my client closet, let me know in the client in the clients. Let me know in the comments below and I will show you guys. I can like do a little thing on my Instagram story or something. I can show you what I have um, and why I purchased certain things and how I built my closet. Um, I'd be happy to go into it some more. And if you guys have anything else that you want to learn about that I haven't covered before, Again, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear it. I really wanna make sure that these YouTube videos are super helpful for you and the point that you are at in your business. Um, so if I'm not covering something that you wanna learn about, let me know and I'll make a video about it. Um, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna be alerted next week when I come out with my next video and hit that like button if this video is helpful for you. If you're a portrait photographer and you haven't snagged my free download yet, it is linked in the description below. It is all about posing clients with confidence, meaning both you are feeling confident in how you're posing your clients and your client feels confident in front of your camera. It's six awesome tips. The guide is jam packed, so definitely don't um, miss out on that free download. It is linked in the description below. And also make sure to follow me along on Instagram and TikTok at the username Allison Clark Photography. I post on both of those platforms daily, so you'd get tons of educational tips, um, little sneak peeks into my life and little BTS things from different shoots. So definitely don't miss out on the stuff that's happening over there on those platforms as well. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you next Friday.